Hello everyone, today I am going to explain you how the Audi A3 e-tron pre-heating works. As you know, it is an expensive option as usual at Audi and there are some prerequisites for it to work, on, especially on this car. Uh, so I'm going to uh, show you how it works uh, with the car but not with the OD application as I am filming with my phone I cannot show it to you um, so first of all let's start with the car so in order to make it work you have as it is said here you have to put to switch on the ignition so at least put it put your car on well on battery like this then after you can go to the menu you can go to the uh, car system uh, to the auxiliary air conditioning and then here you can switch on so now as you can see it works you can switch on the uh, auxiliary uh, air conditioner and also of course well you can uh, turn it off so what you can do is of course do it like this manually but there is not you know a big point of doing it like this it's better to do it through the application or through the the timers I've never used the the timer I'm only using uh, usually uh, to, to put it on through the application uh, as for me it is uh, simpler so as I said before there are some prerequisites for it to work uh, you have to have uh, enough battery because uh, it is um, an electric uh, heater on this car uh, when the car is running it will uh, so create this um, the heat or if the um, fuel engine is on it will take the heat from the fuel engine and also use a bit of the battery but when the car is off it will of course only use the battery so if uh, the prerequisites are you need to have enough battery so of course you, you shouldn't be into the reserve but you also need to have the fuel tank uh, well more than the reserve too which is kind of strange maybe there is an explanation but i i don't know i don't, I don't know it um, and i've discovered that if you want the preheating to work you have to have enough of both if you have even full electricity or even if you have the uh, uh, the battery, uh, the car connected to, to the charging station, it will not work um, if you don't have enough gasoline. And of course, vice versa, it's the same if you don't have battery, but even if you have a full tank, it will not work. So that's something that is important to know. Uh, something else uh, I have discovered most of the time I charge my car with the um, the battery charger that came with the car with the little station and so I, I plug it into the 220 volt uh, power socket so it charges it charges the car at 10 amps uh, maximum and if you do preheat your car uh, if you do preheat your car with the uh, original charger, it will not really uh, work. The uh, temperature will be lukewarm, it will not be hot. Uh, it will never be hot, at least for me, it never came hot. It's always very uh, lukewarm. It's not cold, but it's not hot uh, either. The only way for it to work perfectly, it's either to charge your car with the um, with a 16 amp uh, station or to have your car unplugged if your car is unplugged it can the car can get very hot in a few minutes and if it's plugged in with the 16 amp charger um, in a mall for example it will also be uh, very hot but if you put the normal charger which is between eight uh, between five and ten amps with this car it will only be lukewarm so that's something to to keep in mind um, and I think there is uh, nothing special anymore uh, usually uh, if you use the application for the car uh, you need to have the correct uh, temperature configured here already before 
Um, and I think that for the uh, for the strength of the blow, uh, it will be automatic depending on how it's cold outside and what is the temperature you want inside. Anyway, it also takes some time to heat. I guess between uh, you will have uh, the car heated after 10 minutes, but I think that after five minutes, it starts to get uh, hot air. And after 10 minutes, your car should be uh, warm. For me, it works very well. Now, concerning the application, I don't know if some of you have the, the same problem. Uh, it's a complete mess. It, they, I, ho I do really hope that they do not code the uh, car as they do it for the application because it's horrible. It's not user-friendly. It does not work most of the time anyway, especially when it is um, raining. I cannot connect the application to the car. The application always says that the uh, car is not reachable. So uh, when it's raining and cold outside, I cannot send the command to heat the car. So, well, I really do hope they do it better um, for, the, for coding the car. So that's it. That's how it works. And I hope that some of you have found this video helpful. If you do, well, maybe put a little like on the video. Um, and I decided to do this video because I found that on some forums, some people have asked you know, how it really works because the car is not hot at all and um, so that's why I did this video but I hope you liked it and see you another time I just forgot to um, add um, two little things uh, especially concerning the uh, battery charger that came with the car uh, I think that the uh, air is not hot enough because it tries to charge the car plus create the uh, warm the hot air um, at the same time, of course, even if the battery is fully charged. And I think that this is not enough. Uh, so um, I guess that's why, as it's not enough uh, power is coming in, that's why it does not create hot air. I think this might be the, ex the explanation for why it's not working as good as the other, um, other uh, possibilities. And the last thing is concerning the consumption. Unfortunately, I do not have any numbers, but if uh, you do the auxiliary air conditioner um, uh, without being the without the car being charged, um, it will it will use about I guess almost one kilometer per five minutes, uh, something like this. I think that once. Um, I left it for 10 minutes in winter and I lost maybe two, uh, two kilometers of uh, electric range. So it's important to know that this does take a lot of um, battery. And of course, uh, so it, it will go down quite fast. And I think that if you uh, put it on, it stays maybe on for 20 minutes if you don't stop it manually. So uh, something important, if you turn it on either with the uh, button here or with the application, it does not uh, stay on, I think, more than 20 minutes, but I'm sure not, not more than half an hour. So if you forget to turn it off, because you maybe you had to go out and then you don't need to go out again, uh, actually you don't need to get out, well, uh, so you don't think that if you turn it on and you forget to turn it off, it will just drain the battery. No, it will stop after uh, maybe 20 or 30 minutes. That's all. Goodbye.